this episode opened up with actually the ending, kind of like the ending to last season, where yeah. they just kind of showed them jumping on the and just seeing who could jump the highest, and then uh, their coach, not coach, but manager, uh, busting in and just saying that uh, that uh, Kageyama has been invited into the uh, team Japan. Yeah, uh, for the youth training, nationals training yeah, camp, nineteen or younger, right? Yep, nineteen youth. years or younger. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, it's, it started with that, uh, and then it also showed that there's a uh, the the coach from the, the just the awful coach from season three. He was starting like a training camp for like first years, and uh-huh. of course only Sukish, only Skishima was invited, and of course uh, Hinata. <laughs> Uh, just decides to just break in there. Just, just big dick coming in. Hey, <laughs> yeah. boys, I'm here now. Yeah. It's all because Kishima's just like, oh, it's like oh, he's talking to his other friend. He's like, oh, you could always just sneak in. And yeah. of course, Unit is like, good idea. I'll do that. <laughs> Dude runs out. It wasn't like, even there. Yeah. At first, I thought he was like crying or something. I was like, man, I wish I can go. And then all of a sudden, hey, okay. guys, I'm here. Uh, but no, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit because, like you said, it rounded up. Like it, it tied it to the end of last season yep. to the point where they just finished up with the spring tournament and now they're getting ready for the national tournament. Yep. And um, yeah, I, I was kind of hoping for more, to be honest, but I, I think they're starting up the season fairly well. And then well, yeah, the whole sorry. just this whole training arc that's coming up now with uh, Tsukishima and uh, uh, Kageyama. Like I, I'm kind of interested to see how they're gonna like level up from this training camp. And then how the other team is going to do too, and how to catch up with them yeah. since they're kind of just training back at school. Yep, dude, training arcs are they're by far probably my favorite part of the show. Like, uh, the, all the characters, just their interactions are hilarious. Yeah, um, yeah. it basically was like it was back to the normal comedy. Um, I also back up the point where they actually had like that review kind of at the beginning because unlike me, I just I I binged this show maybe a month ago, so it feels very new. And then, um, but right. I think this last, like, I think the third season came out. What years ago? Yeah. Uh, I'd say a couple was, of years. Oh, I thought it was last year, but okay. I will check. Uh, uh, no, maybe. not 2019. I think it was in 2018. 2018. I think okay. It's when it, okay. Yeah. I'll check. Um, so sorry, listeners, if you hear clicking, but I'm just checking. Out. Yeah, but to be fair though, I don't think you'll enjoy this anime if you're just picking it up this season. I would really recommend if you want to get into it, you want to start from season one. Just oh yeah, because you, you got to start. You won't know who these characters are. I don't know who you starts. Know what's... I don't know who starts a sports show like in the middle of a season. Like that'd be really yeah, weird. Yeah, I don't know. That's I, I can see know. it happening though. Yeah, maybe you're a guy that likes volleyball. You're getting into anime. It's like, oh, hi, cute. It's about volleyball. That's cool. And then you're like, oh shit, this is season four. Maybe uh, I should I know. watch season one? No, not really. I mean. Just saying, if if you just started watching this, you might want to start with Cause like, cause sports, sports because like sports sports shows are just like they're about character development, so you you want to see the character grow throughout the the, the series. So I don't, I don't, not, I don't know, you really want to start season knows, four. Not everyone knows that though, or not everyone in this feels that way, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, yeah, but like you mentioned though, I like I said, I love watching sports animes, and I do want to go through the character development with them from see, uh, episode one. Like I said, if you're just getting to anime or you're just getting to Haikyuu, um, watch season one first and move up to this. So season three came out three years ago. Three years oh, ago. Wow. Okay. Yep. okay. Jesus. Um, yep. <laughs> so it's been a while for a lot of people. I know a lot of people have been waiting forever. And I just got to, I only had to wait one month. Yeah. Right. To be honest with you, after nice. the end of season <laughs> nice three, flex. I did not think they're going to do a season four because there was no announcements or anything like that. Oh, and all of a sudden, it's like, so not only it's did, so not, big in Japan, though. Not only did they, they, yeah. they do here. season four, well, it's going to be 25 episodes. Mm, yes. But it's split, yep. between, it's split between uh, winter and then summer. No. Okay. Yes. That's fine. Wait, so are you sure? It, yeah, it has it's it split. As... It's split between okay. winter and summer. Damn. That's okay. going to suck then. Because it has it listed as 25, but then yeah, I know it, it got it, an it is, or not. It's 25, yeah. So um, 12 this yeah. season, and then 12 or 13 this season, and 12 or 13 in yeah, the summer. Usually, usually anime lists like uh, like they set they set things up to where it's like like uh, where they'll have like just this certain amount of it. But oh, they they changed it. Never mind. Okay, it's 13 now. Get because uh, before, yeah, before because yesterday it was actually set for 25. Um, so they they changed they it. They announced it like Anime News Network like a while ago. So that's that's what I know. Yeah. So it, it took forever well, for the anime list to to update it then. Um, well, I find it kind of weird too because most sports animes they kind of just do it all at once rather than have yeah. a break in between. Yeah. So I find it to be kind of weird. Because I think so, I think it's production IG that does IQ. So they're probably yeah. I don't know they're busy with anything else, but oh. just a lot of anime a lot of anime studios in general are just so busy for like the past like the past year, and then they're gonna be busy this year, and I think next year too. They're just all booked. 
So there's, I think that they, ha- they have to take a break because they, they're having trouble, probably, probably having trouble finding animators in general. I have uh, one little grip about the show. Um, it's the same studio that did the previous seasons, but for some reason they they decided to change the animation style. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why they did it now. Uh, people were saying to, to so it, it it's it's more similar to the manga, but I like the previous seasons animation more so far than what they've shown. I mean, I'm sure it's just it's going to change because when I first started watching Haikyuu, I couldn't stand their faces through the nets uh, right. for the animation. It kept bothering me. I'm like. Make your face behind the net. Maybe they fixed it. <laughs> nope, they didn't. That was immediately the first thing I noticed. I was like, "Well, glad to see that's still there." Um, oh damn! All right. <laughs> so, so that's still there. Um, so far, the animation just like it doesn't flow as 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 well. I mean, I think it, I, I'm sure it's like from before. Like you're just gonna get used to it. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. It's. I mean, I think the show is that good. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't know. It's just like it just feels like a weird point to do that it's like you're in the fourth season i don't know i don't know why you wouldn't have done it maybe the beginning of second season um mm. instead of just deciding to do it now um i do think it's an easier animation style than what they were doing before so i'm not sure if they just did it to save time but uh so far it's the animation's just not as good as the previous seasons yeah I don't the know. style it's... is just different um, yeah i mean i wouldn't say it's worse but it is different and it did kind of bother me at first too but yeah. I kind of want to wait and see until they actually play a game yeah, and see how true. that animation is done. And then I can yeah. kind of judge it. From- yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm already sure I'm going to get used to it. Uh, I mean, I got used to their faces through the nets and just those those things. So we'll see. True. But I don't know. Uh, do you think this, uh, the, do you think these 13 episodes is going to be the, the whole training arc or do you think it's going to be not that long? I want to say after... Um... After the thirteenth episode, it might just be them leading up to the national tournament, and then maybe the next, the last twelve episodes is going to be them at national tournament. Okay, all right. I wonder how far they're going to get nationals, and if it's just like twelve episodes, because uh, that's a lot to compress con- or to you know to actually considering last season was one match. I mean, in all honesty, so... they might do how they did it uh, last season, where they basically did one season for the whole tournament and then for the final do like a, another season or movie to do the whole match like how they oh, did yeah. against uh sure or whatever or mm-hmm. like the last one where they did the, the yep. so it might just be like that i'm not yeah. sure yeah i mean i've liked the show so far i don't think they're gonna screw it up now um I'll, uh, all i know is that this training arc is gonna be sweet i don't even know what's gonna happen but it's gonna be sweet yeah i don't know like i said i, I don't want to get my hopes up for anything anymore because everything has been kind of a roller coaster for me things that i wouldn't think that i would enjoy end up surprise me and I, I like it a lot and the things that i have a high hopes for it just end up being ruined for me so i, I don't even know anymore all right but so far but so far it's a good start like i'm liking where they're going with this and hopefully with hinata being the, the ball boy you know hopefully he gets a chance to be part of the training oh, or you know something. it's gonna happen right <laughs> but i hope it, it, they do it well you know all i know i hate that coach uh it's just basically it's just because the guy he only looks for strong people. That is it. He has no, there's like no like tactics, nothing. It's basically just like go out there, no, no, there hit the ball is. as hard as you can, and then call it good. No, but there in is. the He's... third season though, like they didn't, he didn't do any of that. He basically, he would call them in for timeouts. He wouldn't really say anything. He's just like, do better. And he'd just go back out there. Exactly. So, oh my God. He's just realistic. <laughs> Whatever. But let's just say he's real. All right. And then Hinata Whatever. opened his eyes to other possibilities. But to be honest though, to be realistic, He's just trying to make sure he's meeting the standards worldwide, right? Yeah. Because uh, when he went to the Olympic training, even the director was like, Japanese people was always known to be a land of technique, not a land of power or height. So that's that's just the standard, really, in volleyball. So. Yeah. But the, the thing with the Shiratori Zara coach, you'd think that he would uh, feel for Hinata because he was in the same situation as him, but he hates yeah. him. It's just like, bro, what is your problem? The only thing I could think of is because like Hinata is actually succeeding when he failed. Um, right. That is the only thing that I hurts. see. <laughs> Dude, but you're like, okay, you're that old, man. What happens to a jolly old uh-huh. guy? And he's supposed to actually like, you know, feel for this guy instead of just, you know, writing him off and just basically just making him seem like he's just trash. No, it's- they need someone to show him the light. So I believe that's where Hinata comes in yeah, because but- he is he is slowly starting to change his attitude now. That's why he let Hinata stay as a ball boy. Otherwise, he would have just told him to go home. Yeah, but I, you think uh, like last season though, because they, they had his flashbacks. So you think that that would have been the moment instead of prolonging it even longer. So that's I guess that's another thing I kind of have against the, the sh- like the story so far. But I'm sure they'll wrap it up fine, and I'm sure I'm gonna even though I don't care about this old guy at all. So yeah, 
I mean, so far, like I said, three seasons in, and they're doing great. So hopefully season four goes well as well. Yep. I'm done. Ready for next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hopefully next week, the, next, the next couple episodes, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. So yep. hopefully cool. they do it.